In these problems, we are evaluating some trig expressions uh, using the unit circle. In this case, theta, the angle, is pi over 6. So the first thing we need to do is plot that on our unit circle so we know what we're talking about. There is pi over 6. You should know that's the first division of, of the circle into 6 uh, going counterclockwise after 0. And our coordinates there, uh, you, you should also by this time be memorizing that the coordinates that are on the 6th and the 3rds of pi are, are going to be this square root of 3 over 2 and the 1 half. And they change places for x and y values depending on where they're at on the circle. And then, of course, their signs depend on the coordinates. So the first question we need to ask ourselves is, which, which is the x of these two numbers and which is the y at this point right here? And you can probably see on this graph, because I've got 1 half in here, the 1 half is the y. Um, square root of 3 over 2 is a larger value than 1 half. And you can see that the x is definitely longer than the y is. So our coordinate is square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Now the sine is the y coordinate. If these uh, problems had cosine in front of them, you'd do all this with the x coordinate. We're using the y coordinate because this is sine. The first one here is sine squared of theta. To do sine squared of theta, you find the sine of theta and you square it. So this is just 1 half squared, and that is 1 fourth. All right, the next one is the sine of 2 theta. What you want to do there is multiply your theta by 2. So that would be 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3, and then find the sine of that. Well, pi over 3 is a different angle. So let's plot that one. So there's our pi over 3. And the coordinates here, you can probably see that the y coordinate is the longer one. So that's going to be our 3 pi over 2. Sorry, square root of 3 over 2, not 3 pi. And our x is going to be the 1 half. And again, they're both positives because they're in this first quadrant. So those are the coordinates of pi over 3. And the sine is the y coordinate. So this is square root of 3 over 2. All right, last one is the sine of negative theta. So we actually want to go the opposite direction from 0. So we want to go pi over 6 down in this direction. So we'll plot that. And what are the coordinates there? Well, again, the x is going to be um, the longer one. It's just the same. So it's uh, square root of 3 over 2 for the x. And the y is a negative 1 half in this case. So we're down here in this quadrant. So the sine then is the y coordinate, so that is negative 1 half. So that is how to evaluate some expressions uh, with sine using the unit circle.